Hi, and welcome back. Um, we are now on video number six. Um, this video is going to be about um, making your own structural framing uh, on a grid like this, uh, especially working with a diagonal grid. This can be a bit uh, not difficult, but challenging somehow. I have changed my grid so that it will always uh, be odd, and that's basically for making the um, the connections of the structural framing elements inside this double diagonal grid uh, work better. So apply a list diagonal grid uh, left and right uh, to make the uh, di diagonal lines. Uh, we have to remove the first and last items of these lists because they contain single points, which doesn't make really any sense for, for lines. The structural framing node inside Dynamo that makes beams inside Revit um, loves curves and uh, and lines. So basically we're going to make lines from these diagonal uh, lists of points um, in both directions and um, connect them to a structural framing node that will uh, generate beams inside uh, Revit. So now you can see the um, the double the double set of, of NURBS in each direction. I'm going to disable the preview uh, real fast <laughs> um, for all these points. I wish really I could disable uh, the preview of multiple nodes in one operation, like in Grasshopper, but anyway. So um, I'm also going to change the, uh, the, the division of the diagonal uh, grids um, to correspond with the number of points that's in each sublist in the original uh, point grid. Now, um, instead of using a NURBS curve uh, for making beams, you can, although they sometimes fail, I'm going to connect the points uh, to poly curves uh, to make straight, straight line segments and um, divide them into curves for the structural framing node to use. So disabling the previews again, um, I'm going to get up and search for the structural framing node. It will um, connect to curves, levels, and a structural framing type, which is basically a family type node um, only for framing. So now executing, uh, I should be able to minimize Dynamo and look at my beautiful, beautiful um, structural framing grid inside Revit. There's a problem with this. The frames will actually cross each other, and this is like structurally impossible. So I'm going to have to remove um, every second line uh, to make the uh, the structural connections more viable and reflect the grid that I made with adaptive components in an earlier video. The drop uh, every nth item node will do just this, remove every nth or every second uh, line, um, connect these again, and you should see a more like a sober grid with the correct um, connections for each, for each uh, beam.